Welcome to Cooking 101, where I show you how to prepare a dish and give you some ideas on how to make it your own. Today we'll be looking at cheddar cheese soup. So grab yourself a pen, paper, and your favorite soup bowl, because I'm Professor Kitchen, and class is in session. As I record this, autumn is here. Of course, because I live on the Gulf Coast of the U.S., my autumn might be a little bit more like one of just your cooler summer days. However much the temperature changes where you live, this time of year brings a desire for something warm, healthy, and filling. Soup is at the top of most people's list to fill that bill. There aren't any mother soups like there are mother sauces. If there were, cheese soup might be one of them. Very versatile. There are lots of little tweaks you can make and all of a sudden, boom, you have a whole new type of soup. Today we shall be looking at cheddar cheese soup. As a side note, if you want this recipe and more information, go to my blog at professorkitch1.blogspot.com. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. Let's get to the kitchen. Our ingredients are 1 quarter cup fat. You can use any cooking fat here. The fat is going to help the onions cook more evenly, make a roux with the flour, and add flavor. The fat I'm using is butter because, well, it's tasty. One medium onion, chopped. I'm using a white onion because it's what we had. If you use a yellow or red onion, it will add more sweetness than the white. The smaller you make the pieces, the quicker the onion will cook and blend up later on. One quarter cup all-purpose flour. The flour is being used as a thickener. If you're avoiding flour, you can use another thickener, but the method and the amount will be different. Make sure you understand how your thickener of choice works before swapping them around. Six cups of liquid. This is the soup part of the soup. You can use whatever liquid you like. Water won't add any flavor or mouthfeel, but is highly available and inexpensive. Your food, your choice. For my recipe, I'm going to use three cups of chicken broth, two cups of milk, and one cup of heavy cream. They will add flavor, and the fat in the milk and cream will add thickness and mouthfeel. One pound cheddar cheese, shredded. You can use any melted cheese here. I'm going to go with cheddar because my family likes it. You can even mix different types together if that's what you have. Just make sure it's not a stringy, melting cheese like mozzarella. That makes a great dip, but a lousy soup. Notice that there is no salt listed. Cheddar is salty enough that salt isn't needed. I do like some pepper in mine, though. Here's the method. Put yourself a three-quart saucepan over medium heat. Add the butter and let it melt. You're going to want to make sure your saucepan is big enough to keep the soup from going everywhere later on when you hit it with the stick blender. I like to make sure that my pan is at least twice as large as my amount of liquid. We have six cups of liquid, so we're going to need at least a pan that will hold 12 cups. Once the butter is melted, add the onions and let them cook until tender. The longer you let them cook, then the more they will break down. The more they break down, then the quicker they will grind up when we use a stick blender later. If you want to cook them until they start caramelizing, that would be tasty as well. Now that the onions are soft, you should sprinkle the flour over the onions. Don't just dump it in. Sprinkle it. This will help prevent clumps. Stir the flour into the onions and fat mixture. Let it cook long enough for the flour to lose its raw flavor. Flour is marvelous stuff, but tastes really nasty raw. This will take a minute or two. Once that is done, add the liquid. Make sure you add any liquids that can burn, like the milk and cream, last. The closer a liquid is to being water, the earlier you need to add it. Water won't burn and so will help cool down the pot before adding the stuff that will burn. Now use a whisk to make sure any of the clumps of the flour are broken up. The longer you let the clumps of flour cook, the harder it will be to break them up. The stirring you did when you first put the flour in should have done most of the job. The whisk is just your insurance that everything is good. Let the soup come up to a boil while stirring occasionally. The stirring is to help keep the milk and cream from settling on the bottom and burning. 
Not very likely with all the stock in there, but better safe than sorry. You're letting the soup come to a boil because that's when flour reaches the apex of its thickening ability. If you're using some other thickener, you might not need to let it cook this long. Once you've hit the boiling point, kill the heat and break out your stick blender. Give yourself a pot holder and lift one side of the pan so that the liquid is concentrated on the side nearest your blending arm. Now hit it with that stick blender. What you're doing here is getting the onion broken down so that you don't have big chunks in your creamy soup. You could also use a stand mixer to do this, but that will be very messy and take more time. I prefer the stick blender. The cleanup is so much easier. Once you get it smooth, return the soup to the heat and start adding the cheese. You want to add it one handful at a time, sprinkling around the top of the soup. Like the flour, you don't want the cheese to clump. You're using shredded cheese to make melting easier. Don't waste the time it took to shred it by throwing it in there in lumps. Here is something very, very important. Never let your soup boil at this stage. If it gets too hot, cheese will separate instead of melt. If that happens, you'll never have a smooth soup. It could take quite a while for the cheese to milk. Keep stirring and monitoring your heat. If you need to take it off the heat for a bit, go ahead. It's smooth. Give it a taste. If you do need salt or pepper, now is the time to add it. Plate and serve. After you get this method of making cheese soup down, start experimenting. Add some crispy bacon crumbles, chives, or sour cream to the top. Want it spicy? Add your favorite hot sauce. It's your soup. Go wild! Make it like you like it. Here's your homework. Make this soup and let me know how it works for you in the comments section below. Thank you for coming to class today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're having difficulty chopping your onions, click on the picture to your left and you'll watch my video on the proper way to chop onions. Hope you have a great week. God bless. Class dismissed.